Next up, we're gonna hear from Nilila Calda, who is a home care worker in Scottsdale, Arizona, and owns her own home care agency. Welcome, Nilia. Hi, good morning. My name is Nelia Calda, and I am from Scottsdale, Arizona. I am a home care worker, and I have been working in this industry for over 25 years. It's an honor to be here, and I hope that my story will inspire Congress to take bold action to make the investment in care that we need. My family started a home care agency, and because I love home care work, I took over my family's business. Caring for others is how I want to spend my days. I personally take care of four clients, and it feels good knowing that I am making a difference in their lives by giving them the gift of care so that they can live independently at home. But being a home care worker is not an easy job. We're essential workers who provide care to all Americans we don't quality pay, protections, or the respect we deserve. In Arizona, where I live, like every state, there is growing demand of home care because more people want to age at home, yet we have a crisis, the poor quality of this with low wages, lack of training and benefits, there aren't instrument demand. Vice President and Senator we know that you're both champions for good union home care jobs with living wages and expanded access to care for families and communities in need of services. My question is, how will you make sure that home care jobs receive strong support and investment from the federal government? Thank you, um, Nalia. Well, first, let me just give you a little background on my perspective. Um, one. I spent a day with a home health care worker, a member of SEIU by the name of Wendy Cole, years ago. Spent the whole day with her. The work she did during those long hours of that day was extraordinary. Taking care of a, an elderly woman who required everything that everyone requires. Um, so Wendy was responsible for, and did it in a loving way, for food preparation, for helping um, the, the person she was caring for to actually get to the table where she would need to eat, um, changing her clothes, uh, cleaning the bed from time to time, assisting um, the elderly lady with, with going to the bathroom, um, taking her on walks to uplift her spirit, and talking about the beauty of the day. And let's look and see this and that. Uh, it was extraordinary work. And then sometimes, not knowing when the elderly woman would have fits, where she needed support, she needed some emergency or you know, a unscheduled kind of assistance around her health care. Wendy Coe did all this work in the course of one day. And I, and I mentioned that. Um, to also highlight a point that you made about the training that is required to do this work. We'd all like to think we can do it. I took care of my mother when she, um, as it turned out, was, was dying from cancer. And I was fortunate enough to be in a job at the time where I could leave whenever I wanted. But it, that's a rare situation that anyone, any working person can do that. And, but I do know from personal experience, again, you're not on a schedule in terms of the work day. It's whatever the person you're caring for needs. And the skills that you have to do the work you do as a professional are extraordinary. And that is a function of training. And it is also a special gift that you give another human being who is often, in the case of professionals who do this work, you're caring for people that are total strangers to you and you treat them like family. So we feel very strongly that we should be doing a much better job. The average salary for a home health care worker is $11.50 an hour. For anybody, I'll just help you with the math. Anybody who's listening, <laughs> that is $16,000 a year. For some of the most noble work that any one human being could do on behalf of another person. So um, part of the community-based services program on, under Medicaid that we are also fighting for in Build Back Better would increase money to states to increase wages 
for our nation's home health care workers, again, understanding the training, the skill, and the devotion with which you do your job. Thank you. Wow. Um, Madam Vice President, you could not have said that any better. Um, I agree. We need to invest in home care. In fact, earlier this year, I helped Senator Casey introduce the Better Care, Better Jobs Act to carry forward the Biden-Harris bold vision to expand access to quality care, better pay, and better benefits for workers and create jobs for our economy. We have to do better to make sure that Americans with disabilities and older Americans have quality long-term care and that home care workers are paid fair wages and receive fair benefits. That's the bottom line. That's what we're working for right now. And people deserve to age in their own homes, live in the situation that they want to live in. And when they receive care, they can have lives of dignity. And some of them become more productive. Some of them then actually can able to hold down a job, whereas they wouldn't have been before. So this makes sense. This is why we need to pass the Build Back Better Biden-Harris agenda.